This is so gross. Caroline, this isn't much different than the turkey sandwiches you devour at midnight. You know about that? <laughs> well, yeah. You eat like a gremlin. I can hear you from upstairs. Nuh-uh. I do not. Oh, yeah, you do. Take that back. <laughs> you can't hide from the truth. This is false information. Yes, I can. I don't know who you're talking to like that, kid. But you need to lower your voice. You sound like a crazy person. Says the woman who hears voices. That's so uncalled for. She has a point. Well, you certainly aren't helping. Oh dear, there she goes again. Someone call Melanie, because Octavia needs some loony pills. Caroline Wright! Uh-oh. No! Get back here, you must pay for your sins. What kind of cult behavior are you on? Melanie! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Curse my short legs! <laughs> what on earth? Auntie Nora! Auntie Gianna! Octavia has lost her mind! I hate to break it to you, little goblin, but Octavia lost that ages ago. <laughs> it's okay, sunshine. I've got you. I'll protect you from the nutcase. Thank you, Nora! What drama, queens? Tell me about it. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Davy. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Did you need any help prepping? Uh, yeah, actually. I'm working on the turkey currently, but if you'd like to help me cut fruit and veggies... If that was an option, then why did you have me helping with the turkey? Because, Caroline, anyone can cut fruit. I have this turkey recipe from back home. My parents made this dish every year when the time came around, and I want you to learn it yourself so that, one day, you can make it for your family. What if they don't have hands? What? You said anyone can cut fruit. What if they don't have hands? Someone get this child out of my kitchen before she comes to stuffing. Let's set the table, goblin. Stop calling me that. Nope. So... Hmm. First Thanksgiving as a parent. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Pretty unreal, huh? I never thought I'd see the day, honestly. Sure, I didn't think it would happen this way, but it makes sense all the same. She is my light. I know. I'm so proud of you. You're doing a great job with her. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Is anyone else coming for dinner? Just Atlas. Oh? You invited Atlas? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> Don't even speak of it. <laughs> I won't. It's okay to be happy without him. I know that. Good. Don't forget that. <laughs> Oh, hello, Caroline. Hello, Miss Evelyn. Are you joining us for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I'm afraid not, dear. I have plans with Zoe. Can you give this pie to Octavia for me? Sure, I can do that. Thanks, sweetheart. Tell Octavia hello for me, all right? Yes, ma'am. Will do. Good. Are you alright, Evelyn? You don't look well. I'm alright, just the seasonal illness. Don't worry. Okay, well, I hope you feel better soon. Thanks, dear. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Dang, I can't leave you alone for a moment, huh? Didn't Octavia teach you not to open the door? Only when she's not here. Otherwise, I don't. And why is that? I'm not oblivious to her and her capabilities. I know she's an ace, and I know she's an elite. 
she won't let anything happen to me as long as she breathes, so sometimes I enjoy testing my fate. Because at the end of the day, she'll win. Damn, you're dark. What do you expect? I'm being raised by a lunatic. Fair point. Hey! Are you two gonna be useful and set the table? Yes, ma'am! Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I love this holiday. Nothing beats alcohol and a food coma. Don't dig in just yet. We're waiting on one more. Huh? Oh, right. <sighs> I'm sure he's on his way. Just because I invited him doesn't mean he'll show. He really likes you. He'll show. I'm hungry. I don't want to wait. Gianna Mayberry. Nora Fox. Caroline! <laughs> Let's just eat. Yeah? Wait, last year we all went around in a circle about things we're thankful for. It's the whole purpose of Thanksgiving. I want to do it again. <sighs> Alright, Gianna, why don't you go first? Okay, let's see. Hmm. I'm grateful for food, alcohol, and my goblin of a niece. Rude! <laughs> I'm also thankful for my girls. I couldn't imagine the world ending with anyone else. That was dark. What did you expect? I grew up with a lunatic. <laughs> Caroline, your turn, sunshine. Hmm, my family. My Elsmere family. I might not have known my birth mom, but I'm happy to be raised by Athena. I miss her every day. But I know she's watching over me. I think... She knows I'm safe. And for that, I'm thankful for Octavia for taking me in and treating me as her own. And for my found aunties and uncles. I'm happy to be here. I love you all. Damn you, kid. <laughs> I love you, kiddo. I love you, too. Well, if we're all gonna be soppy here, then it's my turn. I'm always emotional. <clears throat> I'm thankful for Fleurus. I know it's not the best memories for you both, but for me, I found myself and I found you. If not for Fleurus, I wouldn't be here at this table. Home isn't a place anymore for me. It's wherever you all are. And I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that leaves me. Before anything, um, I'm grateful for everyone here. For Gianna, who has been my chosen sister. Nora, for being the sun on gloomy days. And Caroline, for giving me a reason to put an end to the corruption. <clears throat> I'm thankful for my mother, who granted me the curse of what I hold now. And Nexus for showing me the way. My ace tactic, who fight by my side to help me give the world some more light. My guards who protect the people of Ellesmere, and the people who bring life to this village. I'm thankful for it all. Who's here? Atlas, I hope. Atlas is here? She invited him? They spend a lot of time together. Spill. He always attends her errands with her and walks her home at night after a shift. When Octavia has an overnight patrolling, he stays up late with her to keep her company outside the walls. How romantic! How intriguing! Do you know anything else? Are they dating? No, not yet. <clears throat> but I think so. He brings her flowers and such, like in the fairy tales. You made it! I'm sorry it took so long. I hope I'm not too late. Not really. We just started eating, actually. Come in. Thanks. Hi, Atlas. Hi. Barbarians. Uh, hi, guys. Hi. Sorry about the other two. Apparently they were just starving. We were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Wait, before you eat, what are you thankful for? Oh, uh... 
What am I thankful for? My night ship. Is that all? Caroline, don't talk while chewing. It's gross. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> okay, enough. Let's just eat. <sighs> thanks for hosting, Tavy. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you soon. You're welcome. Get home safe, okay? We will. Good night. Good night. Night. We have a lot of leftovers. What do you want to do with it? Um, I'm going to wrap up a plate and bring it over to those on shift. Lexton, Landon, Eden, and Lucian are all on overnights right now. You look very pretty tonight. I, I mean, you do all the time, but it's nice seeing you outside of your duties. You know, acting human at all. <laughs> acting human at all. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, I got the point, Atlas. So, about that date? When I have time. I know, I know just wanted you to know I'm still here. And I still want that date. And you'll get it. Just be patient. Anything for the Lady of Ellesmere. <laughs> okay, enough. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Good night, Octavia. Sleep well. Good night, Atlas. Be honest, do I look stupid? I don't understand why you're stressing out so much. It's just a dinner. Yes, a dinner with Ellesmere leadership for the first time since I've been involved in this village. I want to dress the part. You have to do better than that. Yeah, that's quite pathetic, McCoy. Oh, shut up, Stephen. Oh, come on. Fine. I'm thankful for Ellesmere's progress since Octavia's arrival. You are the most stubborn woman I've ever met in my entire life. Um, Makai? You never know when to give up, and you have a talent for pushing all of my buttons. Makai? But I am so grateful to have met you, because without you I wouldn't have learned how to trust someone like this. I... Uh, uh... Damn. If you don't shut up. Enough of this soppy mess. Octavia, go. Steven, remind me that we need to work on your manners. My stomach is literally eating itself. I'll make sure to take my time then. You- Shut up, I'm talking. <sighs> <laughs> okay, okay. Firstly, I want to say thank you to Gianna. Oh? This is gonna be good. Gianna, I've known you for such a long time and I'm so thankful for your loyalty. When I was banished, you didn't think twice about following me, and I have no clue how to repay you for your dedication and your friendship. I love you so much. Aw, Tavy. <laughs> and Nora, thank you for being my vault. I know I can trust you and rely on you during the bad days. I'm so thankful to have met Ian Flores, and I'm even more thankful to the universe for guiding us back together in Brona. Please stop. I'm gonna cry, and it took me forever to look this good. <laughs> And I know they aren't here right now, but I am so thankful to Lorraine and Esther. More so to Esther, since she convinced Lorraine to help me on my first day here, but they've just put so much effort into finding a cure, or just answers in general to the strain. Lewis has really spread this process along, and he's so great to have around. <clears throat> I'm thankful to Lord Gabriel for trusting me, and allowing me to be a part of our beautiful village. Of course, Octavia. I'm thankful for Philip, who was the first friendly face I met in Ellesmere. I'm especially thankful that he stopped me from attempting to murder Mackay when we first met, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have been very good. No, 
Not really. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Nolan, Landon, thank you for accepting me with open arms, and I'm so thankful to you both for having my back and treating me like family. <sighs> Kai. You're like a painful pebble that's stuck in my shoe. <laughs> but you've really grown on me a lot, actually. I wouldn't want anyone else to be my protector. I'm so happy we met. Lastly, uh, not least, Stephen Lexton. <laughs> Stephen, you're like a really tiny splinter under my skin. You quite literally drive me mad. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> hey. But I love you so much. Meeting you that day has brought so much laughter into my life. You're so special to me, and I'm so thankful to call you my friend. <laughs> and Lexton, I have never felt more alone in the world, even with all these beautiful, loving, incredible people, just because of the strain. You have really brought me comfort and stability. I'm so thankful for you. <sighs> you coming? Hmm? Yeah, I'm coming. Tell me about the leads again. Sure. Anything for you. <laughs> 